Welcome, Disney friends, to WDW Park Hoppers Live. I am Park Hopper Sid. And I am Park Hopper John, and together we are WWD Park Hoppers. Uh, oh, yes, try that again. WWD Park Hoppers. No, been... WDW. What, what did I say? WWD. Oh, man. It's we been are so the long. Wrestling Federation <laughs> of <laughs> Dinosaur Addicts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, we do want to welcome you, though, to WDW Park Hoppers Live. Um, Tell them where we're at right now, Sid. Okay, so how about you say it the correct way? Where are we? We are, we are currently uh, traveling. We're in the Isla Morada Beer Company in... Uh, are we in Port St. Lucie or San Sebastian? or I'm not sure Vero where Beach. Isla Morada is. Isla, it could be Vero we're in Mid the where? It could be Vero Beach. We are on the Treasure Coast. Correct. So, as Park Harper John said, we are at the Isla Morada beer company, or if you're from the north and you see it written out, it's the Isla Morada. So enjoy. We just want to make sure everybody can pronounce it and recognizes it when they say it. Uh, why don't you tell them why we're, why we're here in the first place? We are here because, so we are, first of all, we're on vacation. Oh my gosh, it does happen. Our vacation has been planned and replanned and replanned again. And we ended up in Southeast Florida. Uh, at a lovely resort, and along the way, had a couple of cold days, didn't really want to hang out at the pool, we found the Florida's Treasure Coast Wine and Ale Trail. Yeah, we did. So, which pretty much means there were 11 breweries and one winery that by the time we found it, we had three days to visit, and we still have two to go. Yep, have two more to go. And then we're... Maybe I shouldn't have gotten a whole beer flight. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have. But, but hey, you're driving, so who cares? I am driving, so we'll be okay. Um, the other thing is, is, is we're here because, uh, this is, this is Sid's birthday weekend, birthday Aww. week, birthday, birthday week. week, last, My last, birthday month. last Sunday was her birthday. And for keeping track, that was December 6th. Last Saturday was I like birthday. how you have to stop and think about yeah, that. Yeah, I do. Cause it's I always, always want to say December, no, December 7th, which is another day that we'll live in infamy, but that's, that's not connected, but. So we uh, we got to or it can be December fifth, our friend Matt's birthday. Yeah, our friend Matt's birthday. So, so wait, it is my birthday month. Correct. As, as my friend Kevin and I from high school, we used to plan it and celebrate it. That you always get to celebrate two weeks before your birthday and two weeks after. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, Kevin and I's birthday months overlapped by a few days, so we could celebrate together. Sweet. Um, it was. It was very sweet. We had a good time. And before we get too far into it, uh, there's two things I want to do. One. Uh, I want to encourage you to visit our website, which is www.parkhoppers.com. Uh, you can also find us over on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. And if you would like to uh, subscribe to the podcast, which we're doing more audio podcasts, uh, you can go to anchor.fm forward slash WDW Park Hoppers. You can go check that out. Um, the second well, thing I nobody, nobody needs to see us, especially not with oh, a light of beer true. in front of me. That's not true. We're going to be doing some more video content as well. We're, we're trying to sort out exactly what works for us in our lifestyle, um, which, you know, we've had some things happen last month that have been a little, a little challenging, but uh, that's kind of on a personal note, so we'll keep it at that. Well, um, it's also been a little more challenging for everybody. You know, well, hard to get to Disney. It's hard to get out and get anywhere. I mean, even what we've talked about with replanning our vacation. It, it's difficult for people to go to the places they want to go to and to be with the people they want to be with. So we want to make sure that we're still bringing you news, we're still bringing you, you know, some fun tidbits and some smiles to your faces in amidst all the craziness. Absolutely. I agree with you. And um, the second thing I wanted to bring out was uh, where were we two weeks ago? See, this is what happens when Park Hopper John throws things in that are not on the script. I'm looking at my notes. He's reading my color. It's absolutely insanity. <laughs> All right, I'll say. I don't know, Park Hopper John. Where were we well, two weeks ago? Uh, if you listen to the Disney Parks podcast, you know that we are uh, in partnership with a travel agency, uh, Destinations to Travel. And they graciously gave Tony and I each two days uh, at... Any Disney resort that, that what would was fit on the with, list? Yeah, any basically any DVC resort that had availability. So we got to spend one night over at Boulder Ridge. Boulder Creek. Boulder, yeah, Boulder Ridge. I think I'm not sure. 
Creek. It's Copper Creek. It's Copper Creek and Boulder Copper Ridge. Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge. Okay, so Boulder Which is Boulder over Ridge. at Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, we were at Disney. Okay? Yeah. We, we didn't go to the parks. We no. didn't do any of that craziness. Nope. We went and stayed in a resort. Yep. Spent a god-awful amount of time in a wonderful chilly pool. Yep. And a fantastic hot tub. Yep. And hanging out, staring over at Bay Lake, dreaming and wishing of the electric parade. Yep. And then that was uh, Saturday night. And then Sunday night, we got to spend, hang on to your seats for this one. We got to spend a night at the Disney Polynesian Resort Village Bungalows. The bungalows. The oh Bali, Bali Bungalows. If you haven't gone over to WDW Park Hoppers on Facebook, you need to go check that out. Check out the walkthrough video, the More Magic video, and the More More Magic. Because every time we would shoot huh. a video, we found something new. Yeah, so we we did the silly thing of we walked up, and before we walked in, turned on the camera, and you got to see the first walkthrough. Because mm-hmm. nobody wants to see all our luggage and hoopla. And then we started opening things. We opened closets and cabinets and bathrooms and folded down beds. And every time we turned around, we found something new and adorable. Yeah, it was amazing. It truly was an amazing. Uh, I mean, we weren't even there for a total of 14 hours. That was the worst part, I think, is that we got to the resort around 1 o'clock, and we checked in, which I'm not even going to lie, people. Check-in was was a process. Yeah. And they said, okay, well, your room should be ready early. We'll let you know. At 4.02 p.m., we finally got a text. (laughs) By this point, we had ordered lunch from Publix and had it delivered to the front desk. Yeah. And I'd watched an entire football game at the pool, which, you know, for some people would be like, well, that was pretty cool. No. But, I mean, I wanted to be in my room. Nobody wants to watch their team lose <laughs> oh. sitting by a chilly pool with Truth. cabanas right there. Yeah. That I will tell you, the Polynesian is one of the resorts that you have to pay extra for cabanas, even if you're DVC. And that was one thing that we truly enjoyed over at Wilderness Lodge is we hung out at the adult pool. There were cabanas open all weekend. It was fantastic. So. Yeah. All right, so that was two weeks ago. Yeah, which is an amazing time. This week, we actually, and we're going to talk more about this on, on the next podcast. So, as we have always said, you know, four parks, one world, one world everything in between. Because we always talk about Disney World. All right, well, as part of the everything in between, we've been expanding that. And this week, we actually went to Club Med. Mm-hmm. For anyone that doesn't know, there is a Club Med here in Florida. Uh, Club Med is an all-inclusive resort. It is international. 80s, 90s, it had a fantastic reputation for being where you wanted to be seen. Yep. Um, And I bet in the 80s and 90s, it was where you wanted to be seen. It was wicked awesome. Right. (laughs) It was totally cool. Yeah. Oh, Uh, my God. Not not so much nowadays. Well, it was a little worn down, but, you know, the people were nice. The food was pretty good. Yeah. And if you're wondering geographically where we were, we're basically, what, about an hour south of Disney Zero Beach Club Resort? Yeah, we're, we're Treasure Coast. So Treasure Coast is Sebastian, Vero Beach, Port St. Lucie. It's all of that stuff that is south of Coco and north of Fort Lauderdale. That's right. the Treasure Coast. Right. So that's, that's where we were. Had a great time. Absolutely. Anything else you want to add? No. Why don't we hop into the news, Park so, Upper John? So while, we're, so while we're hanging out and enjoying our vacation, uh, Disney has their... Uh, shareholders meeting, Disney Day for uh, Disney, the 10th of December, and uh, they dropped some major bombshells for the yeah. Star Wars world. Well, I mean, I don't know if they were bombshells. They were a little bit surprises. It was a lot. It was a lot of Disney Plus news. Right, a lot of Disney Plus news, and uh, maybe next week we'll talk a little bit about the Marvel stuff that they came out with, but. Here's the thing. Before we get too far into this, I really loved everything that they said. I loved, loved, loved their stuff. I'm so excited about it. But I remember when they launched Disney Plus, all the things that they said that we were coming, they were coming with, you know, like Falcon and Winter Soldier, WandaVision. And I hear you out there saying, but John, you know, COVID. Yeah, COVID, but we've had two seasons of The Mandalorian. Yes, but one of the nice things about The Mandalorian is you know, he's always got that helmet on, so he's protected. <laughs> he's, he's protected. Um, Baby Yoda is protected by the Force. Yeah, I don't care. I know he's got a name. I don't care. I don't care that he's not, probably not related to Yoda. Although, if their planet is anything like our planet, you go far enough back, we're all related. 
That's right. Uh, Baby they, Yoda has the Force protecting him, so he doesn't really have to worry about it. So, you know. Yeah, being CGI helps. So, um, wow. Star Wars, uh, Disney's Just Lucasfilm. Dick and uh, knife in that Disney magic right there. Why released, don't you John? released a fire hose of news about shows coming. Um, first of all, uh, we also got to see Ahsoka Tano in her very first real life. Uh, TV show played by the lovely and amazing Rosario Dawson. Well, may, may I say something? Sure. I know, especially for the purists, Ashley Eckstein is the queen. Mm -hmm. She is the end all be all. Mm -hmm. There will never be another mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I am sorry. Rosario did an amazing job. Yeah. And in looking at some of the artwork, I felt like her facial features were perfect. She is a fantastic actress. She is very athletic. I I think she did a great job. And for those people that, you know, like that other podcast we watched that said, eh, she was passable. No, she yeah, was no. amazing. She was amazing. And even Ashley agreed with that. I love Ashley. And I know that she's done some some acting, and I think I think that she would oh, be good. Oh, she's Broadway trained. She's the whole nine yards. I, she could have done it, but they went another direction. Suck it up, people. What was funny Deal. is what, a video surfaced of when they gave Ashley her uh, Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers from the uh, celebration. Oh, no, you're going to do <laughs> it. She struck the Ahsoka Tano pose, and I'm like, girl, your lightsabers are backwards. <laughs> so... <laughs> Just one of those weird things. Anyway, so moving back to the news. Okay, so um, why don't you tell us about what they announced for Star Wars on Disney Days? So Ahsoka Tano uh, is coming as a series. The character will get its own spinoff series starring Rosario Dawson uh, later next year. Now, uh, I'm hoping that it also involves Bo Katan, played by the amazing Katie Sackhoff. But uh, I have a feeling that one of their other new shows is probably going to be featuring those guys. Uh, Disney Plus specifically, the service will ramp up two spinoffs for The Mandalorian. Uh, Ahsoka will be uh, with Rosario Dawson, like we said. Um, and um, so the, the, the wording here is... Um, yeah, you're, you're trying yeah. to... You're, you're trying to play with the wording on yeah. a news release. Yeah, not Have so much. Have fun with that. Yeah, yeah, that was a mistake. Ahsoka will bring Rosario Dawson back to play Ahsoka Tano, a fan favorite character from the animated Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels show. Uh, Dawson's Ahsoka is a Jedi wielding two white lightsaber with ninja like stealth. Uh, first appeared in the Mandalorian second season. The show will debut on Disney Plus around Christmas of 2021, if we get that far. <laughs> The world might end first. You know, COVID may shut everything down. Oh, all right. Well, the other Mandalorian spinoff is called Rangers of the New Republic. Here, here. Uh, Disney has provided much fewer details about the Rangers, but they have said that both spinoffs will be set within the timeline of the Mandalorian. So I think that might be where we get the Bo-Katan. That is very possible. Well, and the other part that you know, we're going to see here. So there's probably going to be a little bit more of the cross promotion and, yeah. you know, crossovers and things like that, which is always fun. Now, Disney plus has updated fans on the Obi-Wan and the Rogue One spinoffs. Also, the Obi-Wan project will bring Ewan McGregor's Jedi face to face again with Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to stop hair. here. Everybody said it. Hayden Christensen was just a whiny little brat as Darth Vader. But let's not forget, it's not his fault. He was directed that way. Somebody said, okay, cut. We've got it. Print it. Let's go. And then they released it that way. I blame George. Uh, you know, I'm somewhere between George and the editors. I mean, yeah. somebody yeah. looked at it and said, oh, this whiny little crybaby is perfect. So we're just going to move on. All right, so these events of the Obi-Wan and Rogue One spinoffs will take place 10 years after Revenge of the Sith. Rogue One won't. Okay. Um, Anador, uh, Anador will be a spy thriller with Diego Luna reprising his Rogue One role of uh, Cassian Andor, and it is set to stream on Disney Plus in 2022. 
So in true Disney fashion, we're going to drop a nugget about something yeah. amazing coming, and you're not going to see it for years. Yeah. That's how they do it. I, I mean, we saw we saw performances from the cast of Frozen at D23, like three years before the freaking movie came out. It was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So just to correct that little timeline thing so everybody doesn't freak out, Cassian Andor is basically his, like, the spy thriller. Because okay, I'm sorry, the Obi-Wan project yeah, 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 yeah. will be 10, ten years, years after, after the event because of Re- Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, at the end of Rogue One, everybody died. Spoilers, sorry. Dang it. <laughs> this movie's been out for, like, what, five years? You know, it's like the people who didn't know that a Sakatano had already been in. What? Just kidding. Okay. Uh, all right, so one of the new animated series, um, there's two animated series that Disney announced that I'm jacked about. Uh, one of them is called Star Wars The Bad Batch, which is a spinoff of the critically acclaimed Star Wars Clone Wars. Uh, Bad Batch will be the final chapter of Star Wars The Clone Wars. Or long until running, the final, final chapter. Yeah, until they'll figure something out. A long-running animated series created by George Lucas and Lucasfilm Animation, which, you know, when you see that, you should read Dave Filoni. Uh, the Clone Wars is set between the films Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, following characters like Ahsoka Tano. The Bad Batch, or Clone Force 99, is a group of clones introduced in the seventh and final season of Clone Wars. As a result of genetic experimentation, the Commando Squad members are a little bit more sharpshooting than your average clone. So, the official press release goes thusly. Uh, (laughs) The series follows the elite and experimental clones of the Bad Batch, first introduced in Clone Wars, as they find their way in a rapidly changing galaxy in the immediate aftermath of the Clone War. Members of Bad Batch, a unique squad of clones who vary genetically from their brothers in the clone army, each possesses a single exceptional skill which makes them extraordinarily effective soldiers and a formidable crew. In the post-Clone War era, they will take on daring mercenary missions as they struggle to stay afloat to find new purpose. The Bad Batch is set to hit Disney Plus in 2021. Okay, let me see if I understand what you're saying. We have a set of clones. Yep. Pretty much the 99th set of clones. Mm. They've been genetically altered slightly, and now they can hit a target. That's, that's what, you know. What do you think made them wait until the 99th round? I'm, I'm all about... Uh, to get, get it right. Yeah, I'm all about, you know... Messing around with a storyline, but stormtroopers who can actually are not shoot supposed and hit to be things? able to hit things. That is the That's whole crazy point. Talk. If you if you watched season one of The Mandalorian, I mean, they actually were cracking jokes on that because you've got two stormtroopers that, sorry for the spoiler, may or may not have kidnapped Baby Yoda at some point, and then are trying to shoot. I think it's a lizard. That's 10 feet in front of them, and they cannot hit it to save their ever-loving life. That is true. They are not part of the Bad Batch. That's true. All right. One other one other uh, animated project that they announced that we didn't really talk about, because there's just not a ton of information, is a series based on the exploits of C-3PO and R2-D2 called <gasps> Droids, which I know is very exciting. All right, exciting. I'm a child of the 80s, which makes me, like, born in the late 70s, so I'm sorry. C-3PO and R2-D2, those are like my spirit animals. Yeah. All right. Now, there is one more. Disney Plus is also developing, hold on to your pants, ladies, a Lando Calrissian series starring Han Solo star Donald Glover and another show called The Acolyte, a mystery thriller from Leslie Headland, who was behind the Russian doll on Netflix. Let's just go back. Lando Calrissian. Lando Calrissian. Now, Billy D. Williams was yummy. Still is, you know, for your <laughs> older ladies, he, he is still is yummy. But in his day, was just yummy, yummy. And then you have Donald Glover. No relation to Danny Glover. Is related to Stephen Glover, the screenwriter. But I digress. Not as yummy. Well, you know what? No. He is, he is just as yummy. I'm just too old. Fair point. I, wow, really? You weren't supposed to agree with that. No. Park Hopper John and I are going to have words when when we get off air. I blame the beer. All right. So, 
Yeah, you can keep saying that. But this, <laughs> I'm very excited about this. I think that Donald Glover did a fantastic job of being that little bit younger version of Lando Calrissian and just bringing some of that same spirit that, you know, Billy Dee Williams just made yeah. infamous. Absolutely. And then, in addition to that, this is, and I, putting this out there, theatrical news. So everything else we've talked about so far has been Disney+. Plus. In theatrical news, the Wonder Woman 1984 director, Patty Jenkins, will direct a new Star Wars Rogue Squadron movie. Rogue Squadron will be released in theaters during Christmas 2023 and is set to follow pilots across the Star Wars universe. This is 2023. cool. 2023. Yeah. Rogue Squadron has a history. I mean, Luke Skywalker was in Rogue Squadron. Wedge Antilles was in Rogue Squadron. Poe Dameron, I believe, is, is, is leading Rogue Squadron. I, I feel mean, like they're just throwing spaghetti and seeing what people get excited about. Yeah. And, you know, this is 2023. They don't have to start filming for a good another, like, year and a half, two years. Dude, I'm super excited about anything that Patty Jenkins does. I love I love and, the first Wonder Woman movie. And that's fantastic. But, I mean, look at, look at our lives right now. We have no idea what the next year or two years or three years is going to bring. This is 2023. I, I, I haven't been inside of a movie theater. In a year. In almost. a year. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, if they're going to do this and then they're going to debut it on Disney Plus, I'm in. All right. Yeah. yeah but they don't say that they're going to do debut it on Disney Plus. They're saying it will actually be a movie released yeah. in theaters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this is your Christmas release for 2023. Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. All right. I think that I think that with all things Disney, you know, we found that out, you know, when we when we made the the big announcement about uh, you know, Avatar Land. You know what they what they promised us and what they gave us was different. They made oh the same. Oh my god! You still they, call it Avatar Land? They, I love you. They said the same thing about New Fantasy Land. We we're going to get all these things, and you know, budget and shifting of focus and vision goes. I get it. Um, they and, had fantastic, creative ideas. You know, I used to talk about my clients this way. I work in live events, and I I would have these clients that walk in and they had a Cirque du Soleil vision. And a petting farm budget. <laughs> and that really one. feels like what happened to certain things. You know, Avatar Land, Star Wars Land, they actually did a beautiful job out here in Orlando. We were extremely impressed. But there have been some things that the rides were shorter. Maybe the animatronics weren't quite, quite as wonderful as they were. Or could have been. Or were proposed to be. Everything is designed to be amazing. Or what was the term the lady used on us today? Or I'm sorry, not today, this week. We walked in and we checked into the resort oh, and she said mind blowing. She's like, Oh, I'm gonna blow, blow your, your mind. mind. And and we kinda cocked our heads and <laughs> Bar Copper John started to open his mouth about the Polynesian I resort. Said Polynesian and I, and I got shut down pretty quick. He didn't get further than Poly before I almost put my <laughs> hand over his mouth. But, I just came from the Polynesian and you're gonna blow my mind in this thirty five year old resort. Now, now, now. The hot tub was wonderful. Yeah. Right. Is there anything right. else on that? No. I am I am out of colored text on my script. Cool. Well, guys, we, we want to thank you for listening. And I know that we've uh, we've been absent for a while. But, um, you know, I think we have our footing under us and we have uh, everything sorted out. So we will see you next week. If you would like to, uh, to check us out, come find us over on Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all at WDW Park Hoppers. I do have uh, one thing to add. It's Christmas. It's the holidays. It's mm-hmm. Hanukkah. If you are still shopping and you are checking on Amazon for your shopping, please type into your you know Google search page or your address bar, wdwparkhoppers.com forward slash Amazon. It will take you directly to your Amazon page, your cookies, your settings, all of that. First page that pops up, we'll have some Disney options for you, but that's never a bad thing. Nope. All it does is tell Amazon that we sent you, and out of their side, they send us a few pennies with your purchase. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Great, 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 great idea. And then uh, finally, you know, if you'd like to support the, the podcast in any way, and I know that we've, we've had some time off here, uh, you can go to anchor.fm 
forward slash WDW Park Hoppers. You can subscribe. And you can also support the show, whatever level you'd like to. And guys, we just appreciate you. We thank you for listening. We thank you for being a part of the Park Hopper family. And uh, come see us over at WDWParkHoppers.com. Four parts, one world. And everything in between. See you next week.